All right, let's take a look at the tournaments and leagues functionality of Sports Carnival. I'm logged into the admin here, so let's get into the admin area. All right, so we have leagues and tournaments tabs here. Let's create a tournament since it's a little bit faster. We will say Christmas. Something like that. And then you can put a cost of per person if you'd like. How many teams. And you can always change the teams if you don't fill up a total of 12 or however many. But just like that. We now have a tournament. As you enter scores as an admin, the winning team will move up and the losing team will drop down the loser's bracket here till one team is standing as the champion on the end of the bracket here. So you can also um, see a list view of the schedule or the teams enrolled, edit them here. You can also edit um, a bunch of things within the tournament on this admin dashboard like games, the format, all that good stuff. So that's basically how you'd create a tournament. It's that simple. And then, of course, you can have a sign-up form. So we have View Edit Forms, Edit Tournament Sign-Up. And now, if we enable Christmas Extravaganza, save the form, it's going to be available for us to select we can say whatever to the sharks add to cart and then you can check out with that and you'll be enrolled into the tournament it'll automatically put your your team name and name into that tournament so that's that's basically it for tournaments let's just take a quick look at leagues same thing with leagues for the registration you're going to create the tournament or the league and then you'll enable it on the form and you can select it Add it to your cart, check out, and you'll automatically be added into the league after checking out. So let's go and we'll look at the form here quick. So league registration, you can see same thing. It's just a form page type and you can enable any leagues you want. Now let's go look at what a league looks like and how you generate a schedule. So I'm going to just delete this one so we can start over. All right, so we can see all the teams we have in here. We have 16 teams total. We'll go to schedule to make a schedule. And let's just say until end of January 31st. And it's going to be Tuesday. And we can select the standard format here. And since we have 16 teams... We'll do eight games per day. You can choose different locations if you'd want. Looks like we don't have any in there right now, but we can easily add locations in. And just like that, we have a schedule generated. And you'll have the standings as teams enter scores and all that good stuff. It'll automatically calculate the standings. So this would be the public link that people will see. You can see Edward Johnson won against Team 14. And then the wins and losses will automatically be scored here. You can also post news, etc., as you'd like on the league. A um, few more tools in the league here. You can email everyone in there with a quick little email tool. So anyone that's a league user, just punch in your note here, and it will fire off an email to everyone. Um, this just tells how many times everyone plays each other, so you're not getting someone playing a bunch of times. And um, I think that's a good place to stop it, so we will stop there. Thank you.